for some highway cruising because that's what I've got planned for you today. I put out a video a few weeks back uh, of Euro Truck Simulator 2 and you guys loved it, which I am really happy about because I also love this game. I think it's perfect for just relaxing, vibing, a little bit of road tripping. Um, it is exactly uh, what it sounds like. If, if you've never heard of or played this game before, it's really not complicated. You drive big transport trucks around Europe, uh, hauling cargo of various kinds um, to, uh, you know, from one country to another, from one city to the next. And uh, along the way, you get to enjoy the beautiful European landscapes. Um, and uh, you can customize your truck and eventually you can buy more garages and hire other drivers and trucks and trailers and all kinds of stuff. But today we're just going to be driving this truck, my uh, green monster here, which I have uh, themed after the channel's colors. And um, we're going to be taking it on a road trip. So I hope you are looking forward to that. So, let's see what kind of jobs we have available for us here. Uh, we'll go to the world map, and uh, we are parked in uh, just outside of Milan today. That's where my, my home base of operations is on this save game. Uh, last time we drove from Venice to Milan, and then from Milan uh, up this way through like the Dolomites um, to Innsbruck. And I believe that's close to where we left off last time. The actual um, delivery ended up in Salzburg, and I did finish that. Um, but the game has since um, updated, um, and when the game has a major update, uh, it tends to repark you back in your home garage, just in case um, you know they changed any of the roads or landscapes or things. Um, in the patch, and so, um, yeah, so we're starting from Milan today. Um, and so let's see if we go to the freight market, we can see what kind of jobs are available for us if we want to see specifically what is available. Shipping out of Milan or nearby, we click on Milan, gives us that. Uh, I like to sort by price per distance because that's kind of the best bag for your buck deliveries. And um, we can see what we've got. So this is a really short one here, um, just from Milan to uh, Genoa, which honestly, probably kind of boring because it is so quick. So let's look for other options. It is, it is uh, good compensation, but um, this one uh, is from Milan to Olbia. Olbia is on Sardinia. Um, and this will take us uh, south and then down along the coast into France through Nice, uh, past Marseille, uh, through Montpellier, and then all the way actually to Barcelona. Um, in Spain, and then we'll take a very long ferry ride uh, over to Sassari on uh, northern uh, Sardinia here, and then a little quick drive over to Olbia. That sounds really nice, actually. I think that'll be a lovely route. We should get some um, some mountains, uh, lots of coastline, uh, and we get to see um, you know some varied varied terrain and countries, so I think we should do that. It looks pretty long, and it, it is, but um, a good portion of that is, of course, the ferry ride, which in the game just happens instantaneously, so I think in today's video uh, we can probably get this done, hopefully, anyway. Um, in case you're wondering, the map that we see here is just a, a, a scale model of Europe. It's not actually like to scale or anything. It's it's all shrunk down. It's only got the most major of highways, um, and everything is like way, way, way um, faster, of course, than it would be in real life. It's not going to take us, you know, hours and hours and hours to do this. So, all right, let's set the GPS 
this destination, which um, gives us the the uh, um, pickup point on our GPS. And uh, this is my very um, humble garage. <laughs> I've tricked out my truck, but I have not bothered to upgrade the garage at all, so, you know, it's humble, but that's okay, we don't really spend any time here, but we, where we do spend time is in the truck, and uh, I've made sure it's nice and comfy for us, so, uh, you get to be co-pilot today, uh, and uh, come along for the ride. So, uh, it looks like it's a pretty short little drive just to uh, pick up the, um, I'm just adjusting my controller here, uh, there we go, uh, to pick up the cargo. So let's go. I'm playing this on an Xbox 360 controller, or Xbox 360, pardon me, Xbox One controller. Gosh, can we make this turn? It's gonna be really tight. Let's back up. <laughs> Let's back up. Um, an Xbox this Elite Series 2, I guess, controller, which is not even Xbox One controller. I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, sorry, I'm focusing on driving here. Yes, an Elite Series 2 controller, which I guess came out during the Xbox One era, but also works on the Xbox Series, of course. Um, it's a really nice controller, and one of the cool features it has is adjustable um, trigger, uh, like analog triggers, where um, they have like three different settings, so that they can have like shorter throw or longer throw. And um, on games like this, where I am actually making use of, you know, the analog properties of the triggers for, you know, accelerating and braking and such, uh, I like to have the longer throw. So I was just setting that. Okay. The game is quite comfortably playable on a controller. Um, the ideal way to play it is probably with a, a wheel and pedals and a shifter. And I do have that. But just like with my Forza Horizon videos, it's kind of a pain to set up and kind of cumbersome to, to record with. So I just find it much easier to uh, to use the controller here. So we've got a bit of nighttime driving here, I guess, which is kind of nice. Wait, do we have our lights on? Nope, that's the wrong. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. Awkward. Oh gosh, we didn't even have our lights on. We could have been fined for that. We should have them on properly now. I don't want 
not to blow through red lights. That's that's bad. Of course, you know, as much as it's a simulator, quote unquote, and I'm trying to drive lawfully, you know, I still take some liberties when it comes to uh, you know, being a little bit more aggressive than maybe I would IRL with such a giant truck. It's funny, on the last video I put out, there was a commenter who, uh, who said they've just retired from, I think they said 43 years of accident-free trucking. And they said, it's a good thing it's a video game because if you drove like this in real life, you would have killed multiple people by now. Fair. <laughs> That's fair. Um, but I do at least try to sort of drive somewhat lawfully. Lawfully enough that I'm not going to get fined by the game, at least. see if that that ages well that comment because you know despite my best attempts sometimes I still do get fined for things such as uh, oh I don't know sometimes I bump into cars it happens <laughs> or sometimes I I let my player character get a little bit too tired and uh find for that, for tire driving. <laughs> that was close, I almost turned left in, in front of that, uh, that Policia. <laughs> Didn't see them coming. Okay, so this should be where we pick up our trailer. Let's see. Go to the freight market, and there it is, the computer processors. Three tons of them from Milan to Olbia. Let's do it. Take a job. Okay, so let's go pick up our trailer. It's quite lovely out right now, isn't it? Actually, it's... It's uh, early morning. Looks like it's uh, 5 18 a.m. It says. We've got a beautiful sunrise. Okay, let's maneuver into position here. Okay, we have a very handy backup cam here. Or, well, overhead cam, I guess it could be for any kind of maneuvering, doesn't have to be for backing up specifically, but very nice. Okay, and there we are. Okay, so yeah, the uh says it's going to be 28 hours, roughly, uh, to get to where we need to go. This is going to be a little tricky, actually. I'm going to have to turn quite wide here, so as not to clip the fence on the back end of the trailer there. Okay, we're good. Um, yeah, it says it's going to be about 28 hours, but of course, as I said, a big chunk of that is going to be the, uh, the ferry, so it shouldn't actually be quite so bad as it seems. It may still be that we don't quite get this, get this delivery done, uh, in the video here, but we'll just get as far as we can. Um... 
because sometimes, sometimes you encounter challenges along the way. Sometimes uh, there will be road closures due to accidents or other emergencies, and you have to um, take a detour, and sometimes that can add quite a bit of time to your trip. Uh, sometimes it just takes longer than you expect to, to get to where you're trying to go, you know? There's a lot of starting and stopping if traffic's really heavy or what have you. 28 hours of in-game time probably translates to like about an hour of real time or something. I'm guessing. I'm never quite sure what the conversion is, but again, it sort of depends. Because when it says 28 hours, that's just an estimate based on how fast it thinks we're going to go. But if we go a bit faster or a bit slower, it could take more or less time, right? It's a nice looking game, honestly, for its age. I said this last time too, but the game originally came out back in 2012, and they have upgraded the graphics engine um, quite a bit since then, and um, some of the models and textures can look a little bit dated. really well done. I think it helps make up for it. Alright, we are leaving Milan. We are heading out onto the highway. Merging is always one of the most trickiest parts. <laughs> in the last video as well, but I've got a mod that makes um, traffic density more realistic, um, and which is to say heavier than, than the base game makes it. Um, and so sometimes uh, you get these big, long, lanes as the AI traffic oops, tries to merge, but can't because of all the, uh, the other traffic already on the highway. <laughs> and sometimes that can make for a real mess. We should probably get right here.
they're, they're pretty casual about which of these lanes you go through, at least in the game. Um, but as a truck, you know, you're technically supposed to stay right. And so, um, when we got to Austria, I didn't quite go to the furthest right lane. I tried to go to the second right lane, and that was bad. <laughs> I got stuck. Uh, they would not let me through that lane because it was intended for cars, not trucks. So, yeah, that was bad. I'll try and avoid that this time. But I don't think we're not, well, we're not going to Austria this time. We will be going to France, though, and we will be going to Spain. And I can't remember how the toll gates work in those countries, so. section it was 
was like 60 or even 40 at one point. I know because I've been caught through that section going too fast before, <laughs> not realizing how slow it was. Yeah, 
so. Uh, no, I guess, no, I guess we're not in French, in French, in France just yet. Uh, we are about to cross the border, as a matter of fact, but we are not there yet. Interesting. Okay, um, but as for bluffs, places we can sleep, uh, here we go. This is where we want to go. Sadly, they don't have, um, gasoline here, it looks like. But that's okay. I don't think we, uh, we don't think we need to fill up on gas just yet. So we will make sure that we, uh, pull off of this next opportunity. Get some sleep. Okay, now the cars are passing me in the right lane. I just want to get right over. There's a... Uh, <laughs> here. <laughs> Pulling over speeders. Oh, actually, wow, you know what? I lied. I'm allowed to go 90 here. For some reason, I thought 80 was the fastest you could ever really go, but no. I guess there are some areas where we can go. Most areas I can maintain 
60 plus FPS even at whatever outrageous. Oh, we gotta get out of this lane. Not whatever outrageous internal resolution that is, but there's some areas where I guess the game is just, it's just heavier, more assets, or poorly optimized or something, and it uh, can't quite maintain 60 FPS with the 300% scaling on at 4K. So, I do apologize if it looks a little chunky in a few places. Hopefully not too bad though. It's just 
very calming somehow. Pretty heavy traffic though for the evening here, I, I would say.
道。So still says twenty hours and thirty six minutes left on this delivery, which means we've driven about eight hours of in-game time. But we also slept, you know, eight hours or so of in-game time as well, which is why it's so late now. Um, but I'm really not quite sure how much more road driving we have left, and, and then how much of that is just um, the ferry ride. Probably still quite a bit of road driving. I mean, we can check.
driving through the night. It's almost midnight in game time. I think we're making pretty good time here. I've been pushing the speed just a bit most of the time. Just going a little over the limit. Just trying to gain on the clock a bit, you know. Which is not how you should do it in real life, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me. Oh gosh, we've got a lot of... There's a lot of uh, flashing lights up here. That's a little worrisome. Okay, let's... Change lanes here. Okay, go for it, Mr. Truck. Wasn't sure if the lane was closed, but it is. Guess there's been an accident here. Let's see if we can see what's going on. Oh yeah, we've got fire engines. Yep, definitely an accident here. Not good. Looks like three cars. simulation. 
guys. Oops. Getting a little close to that. Oh gosh. <laughs> I overcorrected there. Almost bumped into this. Uh... Oh shoot. This lane's disappearing. This keeps happening. Whatever this thing is. I don't know if it's police ahead of us. I think it might be. Sign points to Barcelona, which is where we're headed. Let's pass this guy. He's not quite doing 90. Like inspection. 
section or something. <laughs> it didn't say anything about it. So I remember when entering Austria, they they require you to do that. You have to pull off at the border and drive through for an inspection. But I guess between France and Spain, they don't care so much. Cute little village off to the right there. Eh? España. Okay, there's 
Mars, I guess. That's a little frustrating. Didn't really make that clear. That's where we had to go for gas, but... Okay, we should be able to, uh, just pull on in here. Oops, didn't mean to come to a full stop.
are more complex like that. Like when there's a few different roots that are all kind of forking off within a short distance of one another. Sometimes the GPS is not totally clear. But I think we chose correctly. It sort of can be a real pain in the butt if you get it wrong, though, because you'll end off end up going on a some route somewhere, you know, sometimes completely the opposite direction. So you'll have to go until you can turn around and then waste a bunch of time doing that. Just like in real life. Okay, we're entering the outskirts of Barcelona. Sorry, I believe. Is that right? Barcelona to... Oh, crap, no. Uh, what's the place we're going to then? Is it not? So sorry, because we have uh, Marseille, Naples, or Porto Torres. It must be Porto Torres, because it's not... Yeah, okay. There you go. Uh, let's go. <laughs> honk honk. Okay, we uh, took the ferry through the night. It is now uh, 3 30 a.m. And we have a little bit of driving left to do. Not too much, though. Welcome to Sardinia. 
uh, there should be substantially less traffic here, I bet. Especially in the middle of the night. So, it should be some pretty chill driving, I think. Although the roads do look pretty twisty-windy, don't they? But that should be okay. We are well rested. We have plenty of gasoline. Diesel, I guess. So, we're good to go.
to stop short. <laughs> because someone was turning up ahead. I guess that truck in front of the one ahead of us. Okay, I think we're gonna be leaving. Leaving here soon. Leaving the city or the town. And heading out into the twisty windy country roads. Okay, we are not leaving, so sorry. side view here. We'll try. We'll try. If the roads really are super twisty and windy, though, it's going to be a tricky thing. Maybe I'll just kind of drive half in the other lane. As long as there's no oncoming traffic, it should be fine, right? Yeah, see, that, that kind of corner is just really difficult to navigate from the outside view. It's kind of scary. Oh, look at the dawn. The dawn is coming.
possible.
more than happy to do more videos with this game so once again please do let me know down in the video description if you would like to see more ets2 on the channel always room for more i think um thank you very much for being my co-pilot here today for joining me on this drive i appreciate it very much and i look very forward to having you back here next time farewell for now